Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Satham, and today in this video, folks, I am going to be showing you how to tame the Desert Titan. Uh, for those that do not know the location of the control panel for summoning the Titan and the location of the artifact, I will post the coordinates down below in the video's description. So, if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed to the channel, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me or if you have any questions, you can always find me on the Sathopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So the very first thing that we will need is this particular artifact. This is the Artifact of Chaos. And then we will need a few other things in order to summon the Titan. This is the panel where the summoning will take place. So I'll go and get my items ready and see you guys in a bit. All right, here I have all the bits that I need. This is what is required to summon the Titan. The portal does open up. I have my Mana Garmer with me. And I'm going to try using this as a test to start out with. I kind of know what needs to be done, but I want to see if there is an easy solution to doing this. I will be trying to figure out viable easy solutions for solo tribes if it is possible for these Titans. It may not be a thing, but only time will tell. Okay, so the very first problem that we have when you do have a creature with you is this. Where is the creature? It clearly is not next to me where it was before. So you will have to find it. Also, for the purposes of this video, I will be using cheats such as God Mode and infinite stats both myself and on the creature i do not expect the creature to do anything but this is rather a test so there is the desert titan so first things first all titans have some corrupt nodes on them this particular titan has them all on its back so it'll be on its wings and at the base of its tail now as you currently see there's nothing special happening. If you do start trying to attack them as it is, what you will end up doing is you will end up damaging the Titan without actually damaging the corruption. The idea behind taming the Titans is that you have to destroy the corruption. Once you have destroyed all of the corruption, you will then have the Titan immobilized pretty much and you will get a prompt to press E to tame the Titan. Now, as you can see, there's nothing special happening. I have tried landing on it, but my creature just goes through it. So that is not a possibility. If I do use a Frost Breath where the corruption should be, it just does damage to the Titan. This is the same thing if you try and use ammunition. You will only damage the Titan. You need to do a specific task to get the corruption to come out. So this is a catch with this particular Titan. It is, in my opinion, the second hardest Titan to tame. Whilst it is hard, it is not all that hard. And as a well-coordinated tribe, this should be totally achievable. Alright, so here I am on the Titan. As you can see, I do have an icon in my lower, la uh, lower right corner. My apologies for my English. Uh, that allows me to be on the Titan. And as you can see, this is where the corruption should be. There's nothing there. And the way we're going to get the corruption out or to come out is by using the Titan's electrical attack. So basically, when you see yourself surrounded by electricity, just go toward the corruption node. Stand there and wait for it to do that lightning discharge. Once the area has a circle of what looks like lightning move away as it will do damage do bear in mind that you will also have to fare against the titans little birds uh, mosquitoes whatever you want to call them whatever those creatures are as well as against the titans ability to do a roll which will knock you off notice that because the electrical charge did not hit the spot 
the corruption has gone back in. Once it's in, you cannot damage it and shooting at the area where the corruption is it will only damage the Titan. Obviously, you will need to kill the Titan at least three times if you expect to get to the end boss. So that would be the Alpha King Titan. Now, because I have God Mode enabled, I'm not too bothered about trying to get out of dangerous things as it will not do damage. And as I said before, the purpose of God Mode is to illustrate how to tame this guy. So I'm just going to back out in a bit. It should. There we go. That's the one. That's the signal. It is a round circle. So normally you would get out of the way and wait for the lightning to strike. There is the roll that I told you about. It does knock you off. Now, I saw that coming, or kind of guessed that was coming, and I was already in the air when it did that roll. Therefore, it did not knock me back, but I'm pretty sure I will not get it right all the time, and you will see that happen at some point in the video. All Titans do have three corruption nodes. So with the Desert Titan, one of them is on its right wing, the other one on its left wing, and the third and final one is at the base of its tail. If you do look inside, you can see the corruption. It looks a bit gross and gory, if you ask me, but you can actually see the corruption <laughs> wobbling around there. Also, I am going to try and show you what it looks like when you have destroyed one node of corruption. And notice that this time around I am using a shotgun. I don't think there is a difference between the tech rifle and the shotgun. However, the shotgun's projectiles do travel faster than that of the rifle. Okay, so I have taken out the first node. Uh, I did not actually manage to record it. It does take a long time uh, to tame one of these titans, especially as a solo player. There goes that node. That corruption has been removed, and this is what it'll look like when it has been removed. I am trying to save up on hard drive space. This entire fight has taken quite a while up to now. It's about uh, half an hour for myself, and that is, of course, without any deaths due to the admin commands. Once you have done that, go move to the back end. So I'll show you that again. So... As you'll see, nothing will come out when the electrical charge hits. That was just for illustration purposes. Let's have a look in there. There's the, I suppose, killed corruption, if you want to call it that. And this is the hardest node to deal with because he does a tail swipe, which will hit you. And so, therefore, it will do damage. The way of doing this is basically wait on the node when you have the electrical charge on you. Once the circle appears, run away towards the front end and shoot at the corruption. Do be careful to try and hit the corruption and not the Titan, because if you hit the Titan, you will do damage to the Titan, and that goes without say. Once the corruption is completely destroyed off the Titan, it will almost behave as if it's knocked out, as you can see not doing anything now normally I would get a prompt which would be E on the PC but for some reason it's not showing up however if I do look at the Titan and press E I'll show you exactly what happens so let's try and find a spot where I think is good enough there we go that is it that is the Titan now on the bright side the way I would do this is I would set up to maybe three camps with plenty of beds as death is unavoidable in this especially if you're doing it solo it's gonna be damn hard to do as a group as it is with loads of ammunition and plenty of tech stuff just in case you lose some of your things once you have tamed the titan you can then do what you please with it as it will be your best friend for the next five days that's right you can only keep it for five days and as you can see over there I can actually use the electrical charges. I'm not going to go through all of the abilities of this particular creature. I do have a special video for that. If you are interested, I will obviously link that video down in the description as well as in a pinned comment. 
that is it for this video best of luck to you guys out there wanting to tame this it is going to be a fun job trying to do it and with that being said and done i do hope that you have enjoyed this video and found the information in it useful if you have please do not forget to support me by hitting that like button it really does help out a lot and subscribe to the channel for more similar content from myself if you haven't already and for those who have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them plus i do intend to cover fallout 76 for those that are interested also for those interested in hanging out with me you can always find me on the sethtopia discord links to this of course can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment until next time stay safe folks